Hey everyone, this is Just a Tech and welcome back to the channel. So today I give you a update on the iCloud Bypass tool. That tool get a new update and I will show you what are the changes and what are the new things that are available in that update. And also I will show you the free method to bypass the iCloud activation lock screen on iOS 12, iOS 13 and the iOS 14. The FRP tool get the new update that is the 2.8.5 as the previous version that is the 2.8.4 has some issues with some device while activating or bypassing it like the server activation record fail or it stuck on the hello screen after the respring. So I will show you the complete method like how you can use that tool with the new update on your windows machine. So let me just go to my computer screen and start this process. Alright, the first step is very obvious. You need to jailbreak your device with the CheckRain jailbreak as the CheckRain jailbreak support the iPhone 5s to iPhone X and current iOS version that is supported is 12 to the 14.8.1. The iOS 15 is not supported yet but the work is going on so you will see the new version of the CheckRain soon. So just wait for the next update. So if you get these files, you will get the ISO file inside, you can make the USB bootable. All my old viewers are already know how you can use the CheckRain on your Windows machine. But for the new viewers, you have to just download the Rufus tool or you will get the Rufus inside that zip file. You need to import the ISO file and insert your USB stick. Then click on start. So it will make your USB bootable. So that's very easy process. So if you don't know how to use that, just go through my old videos of the CheckRain Windows method. So you will get all the things very clear. So for saving your time, I'm just fast forwarding this Rufus flashing part. After it's done, you just need to restart your PC and you need to go to your BIOS settings. It might be different for your PC. After that, you need to select your USB stick and it will load the CheckRain 0.12.4. That is currently the latest version. Now next you need to connect your supported device. So CheckRain support the iOS 12 to 14.8.1 on the iPhone 5s to iPhone X. If you see the iOS 14.8 or lower are not supported, you just need to go to the option and select the first option that is the allow untested iOS versions and after that you can proceed normally. Alright now the jailbreak is done and you can see all done on the checkrain screen. If you get any error you can retry the process and then jailbreak will be completed. Now just quit the checkrain app and on the terminal you need to type reboot, hit on enter, unplug your USB pen drive and after that you will see your windows is loading again. Now next you need to download the latest FRP tool. So all the links are in description. You will get my blog link. Just go there and download everything. The next you need to disable your antivirus or if you have a windows defender enabled just disable that. This is because if we enable the antivirus or windows defender while bypassing it, it might be create some issues with the activation process or the connection between the device and the server. So you need to disable everything after that you can follow this video. Alright now in the latest 2.8.5 it will fix the restore basement issues and for the GSM no ME device if you bypass the untethered way it will disable the baseband that decrease the battery and drain your battery fast. So always use the SIM pin method for the GSM devices. You can insert a SIM card and enable the SIM pin and after that your battery drain issue will be fixed. This is only for the GSM device like iPhone 7, 8 or X for the GSM one. For the MEID 5S to X you can proceed normally. After that you can extract the zip file and the password of the file is FRP file. Now you can see the latest version that is the 2.8.5. First you need to register your device, it's free of cost, serial number from the tool and click on the register button and it will open the website. Just follow this video and register for free. After that reconnect your device. Now everything is set, your device is registered, click on the bypass hello screen and wait for it to get complete. Stay on the activation lock screen with the Wi-Fi connected and make sure there is no SIM card inserted in your device while bypassing it. Now it will ask you to trust the device, so open the device, hit on trust and click on ok and it will proceed further.
Now the bypass is completed, open your device, click on continue and it will skip the activation lock screen. You can reactivate your device and this time you won't see the activation lock screen. Just simply set up your device. You can skip all this, don't set the passcode or touch id or face id on this stage, just skip everything. And in some device I encounter the same issue like in the previous version. The device is stuck on this terms and conditions screen and the device get unresponsive. You can face this issue in some device but some device is working fine. So for solving this just restart your device and on it again and this issue will be completely fixed. Your device will be completely on and go to directly home screen. So no need to set up again. So as you can see that my device is completely unlocked now and on the settings there is no apply ID bound. So it's completely bypassed now. Alright now there are some limitation of this free bypass tool. You cannot directly sign in from the settings. You need to sign your own Apple ID account or create a new one from the App Store. Now here just enter your Apple ID and the password to download the apps directly from the App Store. So now I have successfully signed in to my own Apple ID from the App Store. Now you can install any apps to your iCloud Bypass device. But the limitation is you cannot directly sign in to your own Apple ID account from the settings or use the iCloud services as it's a free tool that is the limitation of this free tool. Or you cannot use the FaceTime also but the Siri works well so you can activate the Siri that perfectly works. But for all the other features like SIM, FaceTime, iCloud login, you can use the Checkmate or iRemove tool that's a pay tool. I have already made the video on that and also the new update available on the windows. So just watch this video from the description or pinned comment and you can get all everything on your iCloud bypass device. So that's all for this video. I hope you like the content so just hit the like button and if you are new here, subscribe to the channel for more cool updates. So till then, goodbye, take care and peace out.